run. Charge down. Nathan Charles is going to keep it on the toe. The hooker. At 24, Nathan Charles is living his boyhood dream of becoming a professional rugby player. He's a hooker for the Western Force. It's a tough game, but Nathan's rise to the top has been even tougher than for most. Oh, I'm the only uh, professional sportsman um, playing a contact sport with cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis, or CF, is a hard taskmaster for sufferers. The condition typically affects the lungs and digestive system. Cystic fibrosis is the most common genetic uh, condition uh, worldwide. Um, one in 25 people actually carry the gene, but most of those are unaware that they are carrying it. Uh, it affects the lungs and the digestive system. Uh, in the lungs creates a, a more thick uh, production of mucus, um, clogging up the airways and uh, making, at times, making it harder to breathe. Life expectancy for people with CF is shortened. Currently, on average, it's 37 years. But to Nathan, that's just a number. He'd rather see a yellow card on the rugby field than a sympathy card for his condition. I don't like the sympathy vote um, one bit, so um, if people do see that as an inspiration, I'm glad, and I hope I can get um, uh, more awareness and the, the funds, the much needed funds that are needed to create a vision of lives unaffected by CF, and if that comes from me being the only person playing professional sport uh, with CF, at the moment, it's not CF that's taken Nathan off the field, it's a leg injury. He's now recovering after surgery, but won't be back on field until next season. As a sports physiotherapist, how often would you come across somebody with CF at this level? Never. So I've worked with a variety of sports and it's the first time that I've seen someone with CF and uh, Nathan's very unique in, in that way, but he manages it really well. Emidio Pacheca is senior sports physio at the Western Force. From day to day you wouldn't even notice that, that he has CF and uh, participates in, in pretty much all the activities that the rest of the guys are doing here. I always have said that I can control cystic fibrosis and not let it control my life. So, And what I want to do is be a professional rugby player. So that's what I did first and foremost and put everything towards that. Growing up, Nathan says he or his family never let cystic fibrosis slow him down. To the point, few people knew he had the condition. I think the reason for that was Back when I was growing up, we weren't sure if people would discriminate uh, against me in uh, you know, representative teams or possibly getting a, a super rugby contract. Um, so we always sort of dealt with it on our own and kept it very close knit and um, yeah, managed it just with, as, as a family. As he got older, fears of discrimination gave way to overwhelming support, first from rugby and now from his partner, Mario. I think for me I've got to stay updated, make sure that I'm always there for everything and, and be a support for him. Mariel admits when she first learned Nathan had CF it was confronting. So I did my own research and obviously Nathan's condition is slightly different to other CF sufferers. However that doesn't mean that his isn't serious and something to worry about but um, you know a lot of people do die very early from the illness, people suffer on a day to day basis so yeah I was quite scared at first and I thought oh you know. I'm going to have to be there for him for, for a lot of it. So, yeah, it was, it was scary. Together, Nathan and Mariel just get on with life and rugby, hoping along the way to inspire others and continue the fight to one day find a cure for cystic fibrosis. I just think that the message is there for the both of us. Just enjoy life, enjoy every moment. Our vision is lives unaffected by cystic fibrosis. And that's something one day I hope we can achieve.